Our next guest has made it her mission to blur the line between technology and theater. She's been featured at the TED conference and the IBM Summit, mm. and now she's in town for the Tribeca Film Festival's Tribeca Talks event. Joining us to talk about her new multimedia piece and what it means to disrupt theater mm -hmm. is performance artist Natasha Sakos. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so you are called a techno-former, so that's a hybrid Ooh. of tech no and performer. Technology so, and performance. Oh, right. Oh. So what does that mean exactly? And how did you come up with that moniker? I, I don't know if I came up with it. Okay. Uh, and if I did, I'm not sure. I mean, the logic was logical. Mm -hmm. uh, I, always, um, I always wanted to take theater to another level. And mm -hmm. um, the theater that existed at the, or still exists uh, was always so rigid and and so predictable and too real almost. Mm -hmm. And the, the theater that I saw in my mind was larger than life and, and magical where anything could happen. And, and really it only was possible with the use and the integration of technology. And so what do you do to bring that larger than life concept to the stage? So I use a lot of projections and mm -hmm. animations and it's, but it's the, it's the play of interactivity between all those worlds and, mm -hmm. and different, also different types of technologies uh, like motion capture and, and tracking. But again, it's not just applying those technologies to the mm -hmm. stage, it's understanding how to do it and, and creating this, this interactivity, this dialogue between the live performance and the technology. Mm. And now, you... walk us through how your mind works. Like mm. When you walk down the street, do you just see the sidewalk and the tree or do you see things in 3D, how does that work exactly? I'm interested. I, if you ask me the question, it's probably because <laughs> you probably see the same thing that I do. No, <laughs> I don't. <laughs> because I can't imagine these things that you create. So I'm wondering how you're able to see them in your own mind and actually bring them to fruition into reality. It's an amazing question. Uh, well, I always feel like I am wearing an, inv an invisible pair of augmented reality glasses. Mm -hmm. So actually with the advent of augmented reality and virtual reality, I'm so ready for it because, I mean, I have this embedded in my eyes somehow or in my, mm. I mean, that is how my imagination works. Yeah. It superimposes its, itself onto reality. That's wow. very cool. Very so walk cool. us through the reality you presented at the Tribeca Film Festival. What was that presentation like and how was it received? It's uh, so... I was asked to, I was given free reign to mm -hmm. create a show to open uh, Tribeca Talks. Now is that scary or is that exciting or a combination of both when you're giving free reign? It's exciting. Yeah. Okay. Be creative. Uh, it's exciting and challenging because of course it's like you could go everywhere. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and but, uh, but with the theme being imagination and, and all the incredible speakers that spoke there, uh, mm -hmm. like at the, at the tipping point of evolution mm -hmm. in, in technology. It, it, it was a very nice, it gave me a very strong sense of direction. Mm -hmm. So um, I wrote this, we wanted to do this live and instead due to technical difficulties, we decided to just film the, the process instead and film it. Um, and it's, it's really imagination talking mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. imagination asking you if you remember it. Mm -hmm. And I think it's, to me it's important because we are, we are at a point where technology is challenging, challenging imagination, true. But, but for those who can imagine still. Um, at the same time, it's also, it's also going so rapidly that I think it disables us or it, it, it intimidates us mm -hmm. from being able to imagine. Mm -hmm. And ima in, imagination is where it all starts. Yeah. It well, all starts with it. What was your imagination like as a child? Ah, it's, uh, it, it was my way to escape mm -hmm. and uh, uh, to, I, I, that's, oh. <laughs> well, where, where did you escape to? Like, did you go to Neverland? You know, I went inside a closet mm -hmm. with lots of shoe boxes, a mm -hmm. flashlight, tons of books, and Michael Jackson stickers all over the inside <laughs> of my door. So that's what it is. He's a creative mind also. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah. Wow. It was just you and the thriller. Uh, <laughs> and, and beat, beat it. it. And beat yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> well, it was, must have worked because you've used your imagination to create your new piece called Face Forward, a manifesto for the future. Mm -hmm. so tell us a little bit more about that concept. Well, that is that is what I, uh, we presented at uh, at Tribeca Talks. That's the same one, okay. And uh, the concept is using uh, face projection mapping and mm -hmm. face tracking, 
live, so which which essentially means we can, you know, you've seen projection mapping onto mm -hmm. buildings and how mm -hmm. the buildings transform and yeah. morph. So why not use this on your face and on the body, for example? Mm -hmm. Which, taken it to a, to a higher level, means that we. Actors would never need makeup, would never yeah. need costume. You could transform and shape shift into yeah, everything. Shape shift, that is exactly, awesome. uh, in real time because of the real time tracking and the. And so, using this application, we've seen that with fashion mm -hmm. recently. That and is true. Yes. And yes. Now, yeah, yes. Okay. Actually, interestingly enough, I think that uh, fashion uh, is much more advanced uh, theatrically mm -hmm. than the uh, the theater world. They've got to catch up. Right. <laughs> That's why you're here to disrupt the theater That's world. That's right. That's the importance of it. They can't lag behind. Now, yeah. is it true that you want to perform in outer space one day? Is yes. That, is that the goal? Yes. Wow. Really? I oh, can't What would imagine. that look like? I'm trying to figure out, okay, like, what would that be like? Well, before we try to think how it's like, we should think of we are going there mm -hmm. as a society. Yeah. People are actively doing it and very powerful, important, good amazing people like Richard Bronson, Elon Excellent. Musk, Jeff Bezos. Yeah. Uh, so this is happening and my contention is in order to develop societies and in order to um, for the sake of evolution you need to bring culture. You can't mm -hmm. establish new culture without culture. Mm -hmm. You know what? Lady Gaga wants to perform in outer space. I you know, two but... should collaborate. Ooh. Yes, we should. Yes. That'd be great. <laughs> Don't forget you got the idea right here at Ride 360. I'll report on it. I'll come <laughs> with you. Okay. We're all going outer space. You'll Thank... hold the camera? Yes, okay. I'll be there in outer space with you all. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much. much. Thank Tasha. you. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. And keep oh, that vivid yes. imagination growing and blossoming. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. All right. And we'll be right back with more Rise 360.